Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the blower wheel on your downdraft range. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now, depending on the style of appliance that you're working on, if it is a slide-in range, you can remove that lower access panel to gain access to the blower assembly. You may be able to remove the motor from that assembly while it is still attached to the floor. If not, you'll want to pull that range completely out of the way so that you can access this component. If it's a cooktop model that you're working on, you may be able to gain enough access underneath of it to get out these motor assembly so that we can detach it from the blower housing. And that's really all we need to do is to take that whole motor assembly out of the housing and then we can change the part. So if you're working on the appliance and need to remove it, you'll want to disconnect the power, and in this case, your gas line as well. Now, if it's a cooktop unit, and it is gas and you decide that you need to remove it, again, you would have to disconnect the gas and the power. Once we have access to the blower housing, we can then remove that motor and change it with the power. Now, once we have access to the motor side of this blower housing, we next need to remove the four mounting nuts that secure that motor to the housing. In the case of the floor mount ones, the mounting bracket will come off at the same time. remove the four three-eighths nuts. If need be, pull that bracket aside. And then carefully pull that whole motor assembly out of the blower housing. Set the housing aside. Now to remove the blower wheel from the motor, we'll note that there is a Allen key socket screw that attaches it to the motor shaft. So using a 3 16 hex key, we'll need to loosen that set screw. Now that may be on there really snug. We find the best method to loosen something like that would be to either put a hollow tube down over that so you can give it a sharp pull or hold it securely in the socket screw and give it a tap with a hammer. Rather than use force to just pull on it, if you give it a sharp knock, you'll tend to break it free easier. Now, once you've loosened it, you'll note that there is a indentation in one of those fins that will allow you to insert your hex key wrench into that opening and loosen the screw completely. Simply slide it off the motor shaft. Make sure there's no damage to that motor shaft. We'll line up the new one. Make sure that we have the socket head screw lined up on the flat side of that shaft and then we're going to insert it to the same distance that the previous one was. So either it made a mark on that shaft or gauge the distance between the base of that blower wheel and the motor housing. And then we'll tighten that screw securely. Now we need to make sure that that set screw is tight and securely. So again, you may wish to take a small mallet and give that a sharp wrap to tighten it. Now, once we have that tightened, we can then reinstall that motor and blower assembly into the blower housing. Now before we tighten that, 
you wish, just reach inside the opening and spin that wheel to make sure that it's not touching anything. Reposition the mounting bracket over those studs and then attach it with four nuts. Now we won't tighten the three nuts to secure that mounting bracket until we have it parallel with the existing one. So we'll stand that assembly up, make sure it sits flat, and then we can go ahead and tighten all four of them. And now we're ready to put the assembly back into the range.